Hello and welcome to another video from Sustenance and Cover. Not only channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse, but actually enjoy it. And today's little video is going to be another wake-up call. Because uh, the last few wake-up calls I made, everybody kind of liked them. But there was a few that complained about my version of history. So we're going to do a wake-up call about history. First off, history, once it happens, can't be changed. The only thing that changes is the way that people tell it. What I've been told is that my version of history is revisionist history. I've also been told that my sources for my version of history are communist, socialist, and Marxist. Now, since these three words don't really mean anything, and what little meaning they do have changes from day to day and from person to person, I'm going to explain what that means. When somebody tells a lie and you don't like it, you call them a liar. But when somebody tells a truth and you don't like it, you call them a Marxist, a communist, or a socialist. It's just the way it works. And each regime that comes along has different bad words that they call somebody when they don't like what they're saying, and it's the truth. But that's what we use. <clears throat> All right. First things first. There's two ways to learn about history. One way is to go to public school and have somebody who was not there explain to you what happened. Another way to learn about history is to live it for yourself. That's right. We're living history right now. If somebody tells you about a time in the past that was completely different from the time we're living in now, it's probably a lie because people ain't changed all that much in the 6,000 years we've been here on this planet. Now, what I call revisionist history is basically not supposed to be told until after an empire collapses. And what that means is, if you went to public school back at the time of the pharaohs, you would have been told in school about how the pharaohs were, uh, couldn't tell lies. Uh, if lightning struck them, they wouldn't be hurt. But then, once the empire collapsed, it was okay to say, yeah, the uh, pharaohs were mostly a bunch of evil megalomaniacs, and they all died, and ain't none of them were gods. See, I have a problem with that. I'm impatient. It's going to be at least three more years before this empire collapses. I can't wait that long. So when you're in public education system learning about how George Washington could not tell a lie and Benjamin Franklin was impervious to lightning strikes, you know, just like back in the pharaohs, I'm going to tell you the truth. They're just some megalomaniacs, and they all died, and they were not gods. If you don't want to survive, don't listen to me. 